Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're looking at Solana versus Polygon versus Ethereum, an ultimate comparison. So we want to look at all three blockchains. We want to determine which has the long-term survivability because the crypto industry, the blockchain industry is changing. And while crypto isn't doing particularly well right now, it is the best time for many people to buy crypto because it's super cheap, especially Solana, Polygon and Ethereum. They are on the value right now. But while I'm saying this, allow me to remind you this video is not financial advice. It's strictly just my personal opinion. It's for educational purposes only. Now I want to jump right into it, straight into understanding Ethereum, explaining it to everyone, pros and cons, features and everything. So Ethereum comes in second place as it's one of the most favorable blockchain platforms for creating decentralized applications. Ethereum has been responsible for creating an open economy by providing its own cryptocurrency and platform for developing decentralized applications. That's perhaps the most valuable part of the Ethereum ecosystem, the ability to create dApps and application. Now the platform can be accessed by anyone regardless of location and background. So it's worldwide. It gives you that worldwide accessibility. There is a dominance of Ethereum when it comes to the market of digital collectibles, NFTs. That's where it dominates as well, not just in building application, but NFTs as well. But I'm assuming that you know most of this, but it's going to get really interesting once we have a look at Polygon, because Polygon is the new kid on the block who's building a lot of applications. Now, due to this, developers can be using it for a first preference for creating digital assets, which has been most popular in recent years. The biggest flaw that you can count on here is that the platform's intensive computing power and the cost for transaction. But Ethereum has been updated in the past few months. And Ethereum is still not completely fully finished. It is still being gradually updated, still being gradually improved. Ultimately, they want to make it a cheaper platform so more people can join in on this amazing platform. So some of the features, development and deployment of smart contracts or DAP applications. In fact, the Ethereum platform was based on creating NFTs and smart contracts. It uses the Ethereum virtual machines that understands the contracts and allow users to interact with them. It allows users to create consolidated apps, which are decentralized applications. Ether is a digital token, which can also be earned as a reward. It enables users to create democratic decision-making with complete transparency, which also known as Decentralized Autonomous Organization, a DAO, where there is no single leader governing everything. So what are some of the pros? Ethereum has more emphasis on features and improvements, which makes it one of the best blockchain apps development platform. The blockchain rarely goes to any issues and is one of the most stable and efficient platform available. It comes with a stateful architecture, which makes it better for app developments. That's why they love it so much. Now, what are the cons? Needs a lot more processing power. Therefore, there is less scope of involvement of miners. Due to the high requirements of resources, the performance take the toll, less transaction processing speed. Now, how about Solana? Solana has been doing really well in the last couple of years. It's really rise to a dominant state and especially their NFT platform is just constantly growing. Solana as a platform has been created to provide developers with a place to develop user oriented application. The most intriguing feature of the platform is the efficiency. Solana is known for being able to process around 50 to 65,000 transaction every second, making it one of the fastest platform available. It's currently the quickest platform available to developers for creating scalable applications. It has the most efficient ecosystem. The major focus for Solana is scalability, user-friendly application, which makes it one of the best choices for developers if they're considering new blockchain platforms apart from Ethereum. It usually conducts up to 3,000 transactions a second to go up to 65 transactions in a second. The features. The blockchain model works on consensus concept, proof of history, for allowing and restricting entries into database. It uses the Gulf Streams it uses the Gulfstream system for transaction to wait a memory pool until their turn for processing. It can enable multiple smart contracts simultaneously, which helps in saving cost and time. Fast processing of data using multiple hardware connected networks. Uses different blockchain nodes and smaller packets for a speedier speed of transaction. So now what are some of the pros and cons? 
Pros follows a stateless architecture, increased speed of transaction up to 50,000 per minute, up to 50,000 per second, high performance protocol for scalability. The cons, the hardware support for Alana is costlier in comparison, not decentralized enough, not to mention the crashes, the halts that happen on Solana network. So they have their issues that they need to fix as well. Now to the big kid on the block, Polygon. Polygon is one of the most renowned digital platform available to users. The platform is responsible for providing digital assets and economies. The major functionality of Polygon is to enable the multi-chain ecosystem. It provides a network that offers interoperability between previous and present infrastructure scenarios of Ethereum. Due to this, it offers great functionality and faster transaction, almost 65,000 transactions per second. It can also be called a more hybrid form of blockchain platform which accompanies the good features of both Ethereum and Solana. There you have it. It's bringing both Solana and Ethereum together. That's the amazing thing about Polygon. It's taking Solana, the good thing that they have, the good thing that Ethereum has, putting them together, and then you have a gigantic beast. So some of the features, interoperability of elements based on the previous and existing architecture of design, it's completely compatible with Ethereum. And that's really important. Higher performance with transaction speed up to 65,000 per second provides multi-chain architecture for better scalability. So what are some of the pros? More secure due to the results of validation system, Polygon is built to scale with the increasing volume of transactions, provides a similar experience to that of Ethereum. What are the cons? With development in Ethereum 2.0, Polygon might not be required as a second layer. Over time, Ethereum might not need Polygon anymore. If that does happen, can Polygon survive on their own? Definitely. I think they definitely can because they're building out an ecosystem that's truly, truly going to be something to be admired, something that's going to be really complicated, something that's really going to change the world. Right now, over 37,000 plus dApps have used Polygon to scale their performance. Seriously, that's that that's Polygon for you. That's Polygon for you. So what happens when there's a day when Ethereum doesn't need Polygon anymore? Well, what about other platforms that might need Polygon help? Can Polygon scale? Can Polygon adapt? Can Polygon bridge to other platforms? Can they be compatible with other blockchain platforms? It's possible. But what we know so far is that they're developing a unique and broad ecosystem. Polygon will definitely survive fine on their own. But for now, they're using as much as possible to develop their ecosystem to be as strong as possible. But on their own, I think they'll even be bigger than who they are right now. Bigger than you can even imagine. Because really and truly what they're developing, how they're developing their platform and the blockchain is really revolutionary. And that's really going to help change the blockchain world. And that's what's amazing. The thing about it as well, I do believe that Polygon is extremely undervalued. Seven billion in market cap that is a lot don't get me wrong it's in the top 10 of cryptos right now that is a lot when it comes to valuation but it's extremely undervalued compared to where it will be in five to ten years 50 billion 100 billion in market cap if polygon can get to 100 billion in the next 10 years that's more than 10x in your investment once again not financial advice not financial advice it's more than 10x and it's probably you'd 15x probably 14 15 x your your portfolio right based on the price right now because the price right now is 80 cents that's the price i definitely think it can 10x 15x in the next 10 5 to 10 years i'd say solana extremely undervalued as well 4.3 billion in market cap 11 dollars 89 cents per coin yeah this can 30x in the next in the next five 30 to 40 to 50x in the next five years that's solana ethereum 149 billion in market cap just a gigantic beast in its own right and you know what's really unique about ethereum i can't remember the last time it's been below a thousand dollars i i don't think it's when's the last time so apparently in june perhaps in june yeah perhaps in june or july yeah, it looks like it was in June, but wow, wow. And it didn't stay there for a very long time. So it's holding its value extremely well. Why is it holding its value so well when the other cryptos are falling off the face of the earth? Don't get me wrong. Polygon was above 4,000 
it was above 4,000. So basically it was almost four times more, more valuable than it is right now. Four times more valuable. So that's what, uh, 600, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> How much was that for a moment, right? About 600 billion in market cap, I think. Or just a bit under, actually, just a bit under, maybe 550 billion in market cap. But that's insane in market cap. That's insane. It was four times more valuable. So Ethereum also is extremely undervalued. Do not underestimate Ethereum. So that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. Leave a like, leave a comment. And of course, I will see you in our next video.